so summer is almost over and it's time to go back to school. I know it sucks, but I've put together a quick back to school guide that makes things a little easier for me in med school and hopefully they'll help you guys too. Just so you know, all the items I mentioned in this video and their variations will be linked in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we have a set of Muji stationery. I love Muji stationery for their clean lines and their affordable prices. But in addition to Muji, I, have, I like to have other cute notebooks because it makes me want to take notes and they make me happy whenever I look at them. For writing utensils, you guys know I'm a huge fan of these multi-pens um, and highlighters. Um, and to go along with them, I use a big whiteout correction tape to fix any mistakes. If you're a big coffee drinker like me, you probably want to have access to coffee 24-7. My personal favorite is having a small Nespresso machine or a Keurig machine because they're the easiest. But the best way to make coffee is to use freshly roasted beans. So sometimes I like to use my Chemex or another pour over method to make coffee. Having an electric kettle can come in really handy not only for coffee, but for tea and the occasional cup noodles too. Next up is my favorite water bottle called BKR or Beaker, I'm not actually sure how to say it, but these are glass bottles with cute non-slip cover on them. Um, they come in different sizes and personally I prefer the largest ones so I don't have to refill them as much. Couple other items for your dorm room. I like using my Kindle Paperwhite for all my non-school readings. So like fun novels or books that you read once and you never look at it again. Um, in college, you're moving around a lot, so my new thing is buying or renting all non-school books in my Kindle so that I don't have to buy anything and I'm minimizing the amount of stuff that I have at home. For school books though, I still prefer a physical book because I like to underline or write notes in them. Um, I think having a spatial memory of where certain things are in the book can really help you remember remember some stuff. Next up is my new favorite gadget, the Amazon Echo. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a Bluetooth speaker um, that you can actually talk to. Alexa, what's on my calendar? Here are the next four events. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. there's deadlifting seminar. On Monday, August 29th, there's pediatric inpatient which lasts all day. At 6.30 a.m. there's resident sign out. And at 7 a.m. there's work rounds. Do you want to hear more? No. Alexa, can you play some Coldplay? Playing Coldplay from Spotify. Oh, you just said You can also ask it to add things to your shopping list or to-do list and you can access that list anywhere from your phone. Last but not least, some good earplugs. You'll most likely be living with a roommate, so there's no guarantee that they'll be sleeping and studying at the same time that you are. So pick up some of these earplugs and you'll have some nice peace and quiet. Um, if you have a thoughtful roommate, it can also work as a subtle hint to your roommate that you're doing something important, and hopefully they'll be more mindful of how much noise they're making. If you're in college, you're always out and about, and having a power bank can come in really handy. Um, I've been using this small power bank that's good for a quick charge when I'm on the go. Next item I think is a must have for anyone working or studying long hours. If you're studying in your room or at the library, you might be in a crouched down position for a really long time. Having this stand forces you to straighten your back a little more and puts less strain on your neck. In med school, a lot of students watch and listen to lectures on their computers, so you need a good quality headphones. I like these Bose ones, but I'll link a couple cheaper alternatives in the description box. Next category is fitness. I've talked about my Withings watch in a lot of other videos. Um, I really like how it looks like a normal watch and goes with all my outfits. Um, you can check this video out where I talk about the watch a little more. A really good way to stay motivated in the gym is to write down your progress. I like using this BodyMinder notebook to keep track of how much I'm lifting and seeing the numbers go up is really encouraging. Um, there are also apps that do similar things, so if you don't want a physical book, you can um, download some of those apps. A blender bottle comes in super handy for pre-workout, protein shakes, meal replacement shakes, or even just water. I like that the bottle has a wide opening, so it's really easy to clean. I've talked about headphones before, but my favorite workout headphone is these Jaybird Bluetooth headphones. They're wireless, so you can keep your phone in your pocket or somewhere close by, and it's just one less thing you have to worry about when you're working out. 
Last category is for uh, some health specific items that might come in handy if you're starting out in the healthcare field. Um, I love this Echo Smart Stethoscope, which amplifies sound and transmits the sound to your phone. Um, I think it's a great learning tool, and you can check out more information about the stethoscope in this video. Oh, by the way, you can use the code THESTRIVE to get $50 off the stethoscope from their website. Another item that I really like having around at the hospital is the white coat clipboard. It has all the important equations and charts in the back, and the best part is it folds in half to fit in your white coat pocket. Finally, I want to introduce one app that I recently found out about from a dietitian that I shadowed during my pediatric rotation. Um, a lot of you guys are going off to college and making food choices on your own now. Um, and if you have any food allergies or sensitivities, check out the app called IPIT, I-P-I-I-T. It's an app that lets you scan different food products and it tells you whether it's safe for you to have or not based on your preference setting. So it'll tell you why you should avoid it. For example, if you have, um, if, it, if it has soy or aspartame or dairy in it, um, and it'll give you some alternative products that you can have, which is awesome. I wanted to include it in my What's in My iPhone app from last week, but unfortunately I found out about it um, after the video was made, so I'm including it in this video. So that is all the back to school essentials that I have for today. If you guys watched the video straight through, I have a special surprise for you guys. For the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of each video to thank you guys for all your support and to celebrate hitting 40,000 subscribers. For this week, I'm going to be giving away not one, but two sets of Muji stationery. So Muji was part of my very first giveaway all the way back in March or something and it was a huge hit so I thought it would be a good idea to do another giveaway with Muji. Um, this time around I'm going to be including a set of large notebooks, a set of medium notebooks with different types of paper, uh, graph paper, line paper, and the last one is blank, a to-do list sticky note, and a set of gel ink pens. So by the time this video goes live there's going to be a picture on my Instagram of all the items included in this giveaway, this picture, um, and here's how to enter. Go to my Instagram account, tag one friend, and explain why your friend deserves to win this giveaway. If selected, you and your friend will win an identical set of Muji stationery. I know some of you guys have a lot of friends, so you can enter the giveaway for multiple friends, but they have to be tagged in separate comments. Thank you guys for watching and good luck with the new school year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hi everyone, so this has been a very, very frequently requested video on how to take notes. So um, I've been compiling my ideas and how I've been taking notes and I just want to share them with you guys. So, step number one.